Welcome back YouTube, Adnan here from Adnan's Creations, and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can make a custom splash screen for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Well this method might be similar for some other Xiaomi or Redmi devices but the files might be different for different devices. So make sure to check that out. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I get started, in case if you don't know what is splash, let me explain in simple words, splash screen is the first screen visible to the user when the application is launched. In this case we're gonna change the ROM splash so you can say it boot logo as well. If you wanna know about splash briefly then go to Google and type, what is splash? Requirements. To make splash screen for the Redmi Note 7 Pro, firstly, you'll need a Redmi Note 7 Pro device of course. The bootloader of the device must be unlocked and should be installed a custom recovery on it. You can flash the splash using the CMD as well but we'll do it using the recovery. Secondly, a PC where you have Photoshop and WinRAR or any zip extractor or zip creator installed. Third and the last one, a little design skill and working brain. Let me tell you that, changing splash won't brick your device. In case if you make any mistake, it's just gonna keep the screen black for that few seconds or few minutes, depending on the device, before the boot animation starts. It doesn't have any connection to the UI itself, so feel free to try. Now let's start the procedure. As you can see these files here. This one is the PSD template which we will use to design the splash image. This one is the splash template, which we will use for the zip. This one is the splash tool where we will generate the splash.img file. This folder is for the BMP files, it's not necessary to make separate folder for all of them except the splash tool and splash template. I've made this folder to separate the design and BMP files, which will make easy to use. This one is the design folder where I've stored my designs. I'm not gonna design the splash images now, I've already designed the splash images which I'm gonna use to make the IMG file. Download the templates and splash tool from the description box below. Double click on the PSD template, it'll open the template in Photoshop. Once it's opened you'll see this kind of artboard or canvas whatever you say. Here you have to design your splash images. The splash images must be in 1080 into 2340 pixel. As I've already designed my splash images so I'm just gonna import them. Simply drag and drop the image here. Let me show you the image size. As you can see the image size is 1080 into 2340 pixel. That's the resolution for Redmi Note 7 Pro. Make sure you selected pixel here. Other formats might not work. So once you've finished your design, go to save as and save the image at BMP format. As you can see it's not showing any BMP format here, it's a common issue with latest Photoshop 2021 version. If you're using CC or older version you might not get this issue. So how to fix this? Simply go back. Click on save as a copy. Select your folder where you want to save the file. Now you can see, it's showing all the supported formats which you can save. Just save it in BMP format. Do the same for the others as well. You might have noticed, I'm saving the files with numbers, don't worry I'm gonna explain it soon. Okay, so once the saving is done, close the Photoshop. As you've already seen, I was saving the files with numbers. What's that for? Number 1 and 3 is the screen which you'll see when the device boots up, 
number 2 is the fast boot screen and number 4 is the system destroyed screen. You can simply change the boot screen and leave others, or you can change all of them, it's up to you which you want to change. So now I'm gonna copy the number 1 BMP file and rename the copied one as number 3. So, here I have 4 BMP files now. Simply copy these 4 files and go to splash template folder. Now paste them here. Click on replace and it's gonna replace the files with your ones. Once the copy is done, now click on generate underscore CMD. It'll generate a splash image. As you can see we've generated a splash.img file. Now copy this IMG file and head on to splash template folder. Simply delete the older one and paste the one you've just created. Here you have meta inf file where you can change the updater script if you want. Chill with me. I'll highly suggest to not to remove the credit line in the command line. Cause you must credit the author who created the tool for us. You can change the other lines if you want, but make sure to keep them inside the quotation. Once you've done your changes just simply save it. I'm not gonna change any of them now as I've already did before. Now simply click the meta inf and splash.img file and make a zip. Change the name if you want, I'm gonna rename it as a test. Make sure to archive in zip format and the compression should be normal. Once the zip is done, copy the zip file to your phone, boot to recovery and simply flash this file. Boom! Now you have your custom splash screen. Enjoy! If you face any issue after flashing the zip, or if the screen keeps black just simply flash the stock splash or splash fix file which is also in the description box below. I've also added a splash which is designed by me. You can use that splash if you want. So that's all for today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then take care and stay safe. Peace out.